Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. This is day 10 of our UK coronavirus lockdown and this is video number 10. So welcome back if you have already been on my channel and if this is your first time, welcome. I have challenged myself to a 21 day upload, um, to upload a video every day while we're on this lockdown. So I started off with a photograph of all the products that I'm using today. Um, this is just a nail art tutorial, it's not so much um, acrylics and I will talk about all the products as I'm using them. So this that I'm putting on the nails now is from Model Ones, it's from the Retro Lady collection and it's number 15. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm putting on two layers of this, uh, well two, two coats and I'll cure them. So once that's cured, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna use my canny gel paints and a little nail art sponge. And basically I'm doing like a kind of an ombre with them, but I'm just doing it with the sponge. Cause usually when you do it with the sponge, you get lots of little bubbles, but because I'm only wanting the slightest amount of color on these nails, um, I can, the wee bubbles aren't showing up too much because I'm able to keep dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. Um, so rather than dab the little sponge into the nail art gel, I'm just putting it on a little spatula and putting it directly onto my sponge. And then I'm just dabbing it just for, uh, randomly over the nails. I have already cured the um, yellow paint, which is number 600 with Canny, and um, I, I have done two coats of that. So I'm now going in with the number 541, 541 with Canny, and again I'm just dabbing really, really randomly over the nails. And the more I keep dabbing, the more I let the little air bubbles out, and I'll get a smoother finish. So I'll go ahead and cure this. And then we'll come back in with our next colour. I'm just adding a little bit more of the orange colour. Um, I can't really see it too, too, um, too much up against the yellow, so I'm just deepening it a little bit and then I'll cure that. It only takes 15 seconds to cure these canny gel paints in an LED lamp. And I got them from AliExpress and they're really, really cheap. I think I paid like 65 cents or something for them. They're really, really cheap. The glitter that I first used was um, the Yellow Gold Sparkle by Halo and when I put it on the nail you, you just you really couldn't see it so I have went in with another Halo polish but this one is called Gold Leaf so it's a little bit thicker than the um, Yellow Gold Sparkle and I've just decided to apply this with my brush rather than the little sponge I think um, doing it with the sponge there wasn't a lot of glitter came off it's it tended to stick to the to the little sponge rather than go on the nail Now I'm just getting in with Halo's uh, non-white matte gel top coat. So if anybody has watched my videos, you know that when I like to do nail art, I like to do it on a matte surface. Uh, I just find it easier. And then when it's finished, I will obviously go in with either another matte or a gloss top coat. So I'm just using my Your Sugar Black gel paint. And I'm just doing random sort of lines to make it look like tiger skin like the marks that would be on a tiger 
So they're just really randomly, there's no set pattern as to where you put the lines, it's just wherever your brush takes it. So I'm learning from my mistakes and in my last video, the black and the white one that I did, um, I didn't cure the nails once I had done the lines. I sort of did one nail and then moved on to the next nail and because of my wonky finger that tends to sit out and not be straight, I ended up wiping all the gel and smudging the gel that I had already done. So on this set, I'm curing each finger as it goes. So I hope everybody is keeping well. Um, I would say we're now into day 10 of our UK lockdown. Um, if you are still working, um, I'm sure you are being safe. And um, for those of you that, that aren't and you're at home, whether you can work from home or you can't, how you spill in your days. So I think of my house, we have kind of hit a slump today. And I think because we had we had done so much over the first couple of days, we'd went through our wardrobes and we'd emptied out any clothes that we haven't worn. Um, I pulled out all the stuff in the kitchen cupboards and wiped all them down. I have scrubbed the house from top to bottom. So I have, we actually had a stump because everything's done and we didn't know what to do. So we bath the dogs, my little fur babies, Ralph and Dots. We give them a bath and then we just sat and watched TV. So if anybody has watched The Tiger King, this is what this, this is what inspired me to do this set because he Joe Exotic is bonkers, completely bonkers, but he's the type of guy that even though he's bonkers, you can't help but like him. So not only um, was he bonkers and he he ran this big cat sort of sanctuary, he was also a country singer. So now my husband has memorised the song, I Saw Tiger. So I'm hearing this song like a million times a day. A million times a day. I'm going to sleep and hearing I Saw Tiger. And the tiger saw man. I know how to build toys. But anyway, um, The Tiger King, it is funny. It was quite a good show to watch. Um, it was a bit controversial because he ended up, I'll not, I'll not actually say too much, but the funny side was really Joe Exotic himself. He, you know, just the things that he did, it, he was just bonkers, absolutely bonkers. Cuckoo. So as you can see, I'm not actually following any pattern. I'm just doing random lines and sort of joining them together in the middle of the nail. Because if you look at a tiger's um, coat, they tend, if you think of their spine, the lines actually sort of come together at the spine. So I've tried to create that down the center of the nail. So the reason that I haven't done any lines on the ring finger is because I'm going to do sort of like um, half of the tiger's face on, well, try and do half of the tiger's face on the ring finger.
So again, I'm just doing random sort of lines. And one of the reasons why I normally don't cure the nail, the gel on the nail is sometimes, you know, to get things in proportion, you need to move them. So I had to move the nose of the tiger here because it was way too close to the eyes. I'm just using Halo Gel Polish Pink just to do the nose, nothing special, just, just pink. And to colour in the eye, I use both um, the, the yellow that I was using um, with the sponge and then I've also grabbed a green, uh, number 608. And I'm just going ahead and putting that in and mixing it with the yellow to create the eye colour. So I'm just going around the eye again just to make it a bit more prominent with some of the gel paint and then I'll just sort of darken down some of the lines as well just to make them stand out a bit. Now that all the art's done, I'm just going to finish off with a gloss top coat and we shall see the finished set. So here's the finished set. If you've liked them, please give my video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, why not? And if you need to fill your days, why not check out the Tiger King? Um, if anything, it will give you a few laughs and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.